It was the second Tuesday in October 2010. A day very much like today, but a day that changed my life forever. Because it was that day that I received, that I was invited to a conference call with 11 of my coworkers. And there are many of you who have heard about this conference call, but today I'm celebrating it. I wasn't back then. The conference call went kind of like this. The company is going through severe financial problems right now. We're going to lose $10 million this year. By the way, your position's been eliminated effective immediately. Please stay off the phone so our outplacement firm can call you, and we're not going to answer any questions. You'll have to wait till, H till you get your package from FedEx, and then HR will call you. Goodbye. Oh. Click. So, at about this time last year, I was sitting at my desk, shaking, sobbing, having absolutely no idea what my life was going to look like from then on. I was very successful in medical sales. I kind of had the job that everybody wants where you make lots of money and have a company car. I didn't pay for gas for seven years. All of these things that I didn't expect because I was having a record year. I thought I was protected. And as I'm going through this and just it was devastating. And I know that many of you in the audience who have found yourself going through transition know exactly what I'm talking about. The abandonment from the people that you thought were your friends. All of that, why me? And then I said, Lisa, you've been preaching about gratitude for a year now. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Don't you hate when you have to listen to your own lessons? <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to go into the silence. I went into a meditation for a couple minutes, and I thought, okay, what is it about this that I can be grateful for? And I had a thought that was a goal list or a dream list that I wrote in May of 1988. I actually looked at it this morning. The very top of the list were two things. I want to be an inspirational speaker and I want to write a book. In the last year, both of those have happened. In the last year, I have met so many people, all of you folks in the room, that have changed my life and have made me decide that I am not going back to another job. I am pursuing my dreams because it's time. And for that, I am extraordinarily grateful. The second Tuesday of October last year ended up being the best day and the best thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life because it was truly life-changing. So for that, tomorrow's the actual celebration because it was October 12th, but I figure it's still second Tuesday, so it's pretty cool. 